Trigger King RC Pro Mod Monster Truck Action. The all out, no holds barred monster truck class in Trigger King. It's the season finale, bracket one of two in this event. Taking a look at qualifying results. Sudden impact, equalizer number two, and our fast qualifier, Angels Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler. Points are fairly tight as we move into this final day of competition. Firestone Bigfoot with 40 points on top of Indominus with 37, Sudden Impact 32, Hellion 29, Equalizer 28, and Angels Bigfoot 27, Taurus 26. So we've got a, a tight battle that should be exciting. But right now we've got action on the track on a long integrated crossover trigger king track the longest of the season big a's andy salerno the number 16 takes down troy haas in awesome kong the number 17. rotten apple doug welker this is lmt rotten apple facing off with we the people john wald several rotten apples in welker's camp this one, the LMT, and this is a nicely built truck. All trail products through, so this is a well-built, high-dollar piece of equipment, and it takes a round one victory. Hellion, driven by Iron Aaron Janes, facing off with Keith Voigt, USA 1. Oh, and USA 1 up and over just like the real truck. Hellion rolling around the track. Should be able to take the victory as long as he keeps the truck on the wheels. Oof, it wasn't pretty, but he got to the finish line and Hellion will move on. Chris. Welker back on the line with another rotten apple. This, the TLR Losi LMT race tune product facing off against newcomer Danny Borgers with Gravedigger, an all-stock LMT. Danny's been working hard at finding the balance and tuning that truck as he gets acclimated with Trigger King, getting some time on the track, but Welker in Rotten Apple does move on. Ready. Mad Dog and Troy Haas with Bigfoot 13, Chris Blank, possibly the last showing for Bigfoot 13. And it's going to be unlucky as the truck is up and over. Mad Dog not looking pretty on the far side of the track. But as long as he keeps it on the wheels as well, he should win. Flying across the finish line, he'll take it. Chris Hackinson, Manic, number 10, facing off against Ford Monster, John Wald. Both trucks out of shape. I think Hackinson got lost on the track. He is charging to try to make up ground. Oh, and John in the far lane with Ford Monster is out of shape, and Manic makes the comeback. Laotian commotion. Isaac Ankrum, proud Laotian history in that family. Facing off against underpowered Andy Solano, a rookie on the series. The only commotion today, though, is Laotian commotion is upside down, and Salerno's rolling around the track to a win. Our final pair of round number one. Indominus number 11 facing off with Retro Foot number 22. Indominus second in points, desperately trying to catch the points leader, Firestone Bigfoot. Indominus looking smooth around the track. He could be a force to be reckoned with throughout the day. But with Trigger King RC Racing, anybody can clean your clock at any time, so you just never can tell. As we move into round number two, this is a guy that's cleaned a few clocks throughout the season. Big A's Andy Salerno 
facing off against Angels Bigfoot, the number one qualifier. If he wants to take down Goliath, now's his chance. But Andy in Big A's is behind as Angels Bigfoot rolls slowly to the victory. El Toro Zombie, Chris Hackinson, and Rotten Apple, Doug Welker. Oh, and El Toro upside down. There seems to be a lot of trouble navigating the turns and pitfalls of this track in bracket number one of Pro Mod. So just finishing the race may actually be a big key here. Right. Hellion and Rockstar facing off. Drivers ready? Yep. Watch light. Wow! Pin it to win it. Hellion on the final straightaway, mass the throttle in this unlimited brushless pro mod class and flies to the victory. Up now it's Taurus, Jeremy Mark and Rotten Apple, the TLR variant. Taurus sitting seventh in points, so he'd like to gain some ground and make up a few points. Possibly crack the top five this season. Equalizer, our number two qualifier and mad dog, Troy Haas, all the way from Colorado. Equalizer and LMT. Looking smooth and stable in an unchallenged race in this situation. So we'll have to see that truck later to get a real feel for what it can do. But we continue moving on. It's Zeus driven by Iron Aaron Janes and Manic Chris Hackinson on the line. This should be a pretty good matchup. Zeus out to a lead and Manic starting to charge. Oh! And Zeus lost track of his GPS and went the wrong way on the track, giving the win to Manic. Number three, Sudden Impact, also number three in points, facing off against underpowered Andy Salerno. Salerno misses an obstacle in the near lane. It was close at the finish line, but I think with the penalty calculated in, the win will probably go to sudden impact. But let's take a quick look at the TK replay. Right there, you see the penalty on this car set from underpowered missing the obstacle with the front two wheels, but hammered down to the finish line. There you see it. In the air, still ahead. Sudden impact will move on. Our final pair in round number two brings number one in points, Firestone Bigfoot against number two in points, Indominus. Huge points implications here if Indominus were to win. And the truck is hung up on a jersey barrier. Indominus in all kinds of trouble. And that only strengthens the point lead for Firestone Bigfoot. <laughs> Round number three, Angels Bigfoot, the number one qualifier, now facing number nine, Rotten Apple, the LMT version. As we said earlier, all trio, very nice truck. Facing off with Bob C. Chandler and the Angels Bigfoot, a shafty-based 3D Havoc truck. Smooth and easy around the track, Angels takes the win.
<laughs> Hellion facing off with Taurus. This could be a really nice matchup. This should be exciting. Both trucks, great suspensions under them, sort of similar setups. We'll see how the driving styles work out. Hellion in all kinds of trouble, then running ragged to catch up. Nonetheless, Taurus gets to the finish line first. These two have matched up frequently throughout the season. Chris Parrish and Chris Hackinson, Equalizer and Manic on the line. This should be a good race as well. Neck and neck into the next to final straightaway. A good race all the way to the finish, and the win goes to Equalizer. Number two, gaining some ground potentially in the points race. Another big points implication race. Number three in points, Sudden Impact looking to take out the points leader, Firestone Bigfoot. Sudden impact in all kinds of trouble as the ACRC Chaos Chassis Clod Buster takes the victory. <laughs> Semi-final action, final four. Angels Bigfoot number one facing off against Taurus number five. Oh, Taurus just barely gets hung up on the jersey barrier, and that's probably going to be all it takes. And indeed, Angel's Bigfoot moves to the finals. <laughs> Our second pair, Bob C. Chandler, right back up on the line. Firestone Bigfoot, the points leader, facing off with Equalizer, the number two qualifier, Chris Parrish. Chandler in trouble. Equalizer looking pretty solid today. Equalizer goes to the championship round. And so that sets it up. It's finals time. The number one qualifier, Angels Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler facing off against number two qualifier, Equalizer, Chris Parrish. The one-two matchup, this could be exciting. They're neck and neck. Both trucks, great runs, but Angel's Bigfoot just a little bit better. Flying to the finish line, looking strong, gaining a little bit of ground as Angel set sixth place in the points race for the season. Equalizer in fifth place, so both of these trucks gaining ground on the competitors ahead of them. As you can see, it's still tight in positions three through six, even seven really. So there could be some big shuffles based on the bracket two results. Make sure you join us next time when we hit the final Pro Mod bracket of the season. I bet it's going to be exciting. Make sure you join us next time.